everybody. What a terrible, terrible night. We haven't had much luck here, have we? Colleagues, right now I've got the whole of my British Airways Shop Stewards Committee together after a year of strike and struggle, and so you, you know, I'd like to thank Rob for putting me on early. Unfortunately, you can't listen to Amy just a little bit later, and I really apologise, Amy, to you for that. I'd like to have been here and listened to you. But, colleagues, the first thing I want to do is bring you solidarity and greetings from Hernando. Uh, sorry, for, uh, from Gerardo. It's the teeth that does it. It's the teeth. From Gerardo in that terrible prison in Victorville where I visited him again only three weeks ago. And Gerardo is, as, as all the five are, absolutely high in spirits. They understand the injustice of where they are and why they are, but they also understand as well, as other political prisoners before them have understood, that it's only a matter of time before justice is served and before they're back home with their loved ones. And it's only a matter of time as well where Gerardo sees Adriana maybe for the first time in 12 years with his wife being denied those visitation rights. So the message from Gerardo is clear. Thank you, all of us in Britain. Thanks all of the supporters that are here today. Thanks to Cuba Solidarity with the effort over these years. Keep up the good work. It is solidarity. It is your efforts that's obviously making life just a little bit more bearable for him in the prison cell that he's in, as indeed it is for the other, for the other four themselves. Colleagues, I always said that solidarity matters. But there's no doubt that politics makes a difference. It's politics to put the five in prison, and it'll be politics ultimately that sees them come home, back to their loved ones, and back to their own country. And the good news is this. You may have seen even the news today that there are now high-level talks taking place between the American and the Cuban governments that we've known about for a little while now as a consequence of you know, a, a person who happens to be on spying charges in Cuba and indeed the importance of the Americans that this particular guy comes back over to their own country. So it really is important that the Cuban government take advantage of that situation that they have there. And it's also important that we realise, as Rob said, that the involvement both in Cuba at May Day last year of American unions, major American unions, and major players for the first time, followed by a meeting with the wives of the five in Canada with the American unions only a few months ago, allows those American unions to campaign on the behalf of the five in America for justice, for freedom, for visitation rights, obviously continues. All this is going on, maybe more than certainly I've seen in the last few years, maybe more now we have an opportunity to turn around and see, hopefully visitation rights as a start, and hopefully, I sincerely hope, freedom for the five. Right now, as Aim is here addressing us in Britain, Aim Molga and Adriana are of course in Brussels and indeed in Strasbourg, along with other trade unionists and members of the European Parliament, looking at the position from a European perspective, and it's good that they're doing that over there while we're campaigning here. So colleagues, it is a short contribution from me tonight, but it's an important contribution. The involvement of the American unions, the involvement of Gordon Brown with Hillary Clinton, the involvement of the American union leaders with major, major players in the Obama administration must make a difference at some time. But what we've got to do in solidarity is to not stop our fight, not stop our support, and keep the pressure on them. Pressure for visitation, pressure for freedom of the five, and pressure for justice for Cuba, with that illegal blockade finally lifted. Comrades, pleasure to be with you. Thanks for coming out in the rain. You know, thank you very much indeed for all the effort you're putting in. Thank you very much indeed.